hello my friends and welcome to another tutorial from xeno trust um, in this one we are going to look at smooth scrolling with javascript okay so basically this is a simple website i um designed or i coded up um from frontendmentors.io and i have this website on the channel in case you want to check out um how it was coded up okay but we have links here right and if we it's a single page website so if we click on blog for example it's going to go to the blog section okay so basically i'm just using the targets to um, go to different section on the website now but it doesn't look very nice because it just appears immediately okay so basically if you have a one page website like a portfolio website for example you may want to have some kind of smooth scrolling function okay so such that it scrolls you know down smoothly okay so that's basically what we're going to do with javascript so let me bring up the code so you can see what we have so basically this is the html file and i have added a script.js file and linked it and let me just grow up so that i can show you what the menu structure looks like okay so this is the unordered list and it has a class of nav ul okay and inside of it we have the list items that contains the links okay which is the a tags okay so let's go to our javascript file and let's reference this so this is our script.js file and i'm just going to add the comment and see smooth okay so the first thing we're going to do is let's create a variable and i'm going to call this variable links because basically it's going to target all of the links we have on the page so i would say document dot query selector and it's going to be query selector all because i want to be able to target all of the links on the page and you remember that we have more than one um link on the page okay so i would then target it okay let me do this so first of target the class so the class is nav hyphen ul and then i'll look for the list items inside finally i'll get the a tags okay so basically that's it okay so now we're going to use a for in statement to pick out all of the links inside this list of links okay so i'll say for and i'll say const link of links okay and then i will then add an event listener so i will then say link dot add event listener and basically i want to add a click event and then i'm going to call a function so i will name this function smooth scroll okay so now what we need to do next is we need to create um, this function called smooth scroll so let's do that so i'll say function and smooth scroll and i'm going to add an e here okay so basically the first thing i want to do is i want to say e dot prevent default And then I want to create a variable so I'll say const and basically what I want to get is the href right because I am targeting I'm targeting the href so let me go to my HTML and show you so this is what I'm interested in right this article here okay um, so I am actually trying to target this href okay um in the links so let's go back to our javascript and so we're going to say const and we're just going to say href is equal to this dot get attribute and then we're going to say we want to get the href attribute here okay now what do we want to do next we want to see document.query selector 
and then we're looking for the href that we just created this guy here okay so what do we want to happen we want to scroll into view okay so that's a javascript property scroll and basically what do we want to happen we want to set the behavior to smooth okay so i'll come here and see behavior and then i'll set it to smooth okay so i think that about does it okay so basically um a quick summary of what we just did here the first thing we did is that we created a variable called links that got the link item okay all of the link items because we did query selector all and then we use the for in statements okay so we said cons link of links and we added an event listener and a click event listener and then we call this function so we came down here we created this function that got the href attributes in all of the links and then we create added a scroll into view property and set the um, property to behavior to smooth that's basically what we did so if i save this and i come here okay and the page is refreshed and i click blog you see that it scrolls smoothly to the blog section so let me do that again yeah okay so that basically that if I, if I click about okay so you just need to implement that code once on your script.js file and that's all all your links or all the links you target will smooth scroll okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you're not subscribed to my channel um i want to encourage you to subscribe right now and see you in another video and don't forget to hit the like button also all right bye